In this video, I will show you how to turn off, use and get the most out of the do not disturb mode on your iPhone. This is a little bit basic, but I like to combine these videos with iPhone comparisons and other stuff. Like there are people who are new to iPhone or just picked it up. And I also want to help them. Like if you're new to something, you can't just know everything about it right away. And that's okay. I'm Lucas from Apple Fox and let's begin. First of all, we all have the toggle in the control center and you are not able to remove it from there. So everybody actually has that. And when it's turned on, apparently it looks like moon. And if it's turned on, the do not disturb mode is turned on. If you click on it, then it just turns off. This is basic and you probably know about it. The problem is that it keeps turning on by itself. And there are many different ways how this can be triggered and when it turns on. I will talk more about the ways you can actually use and customize it towards the end of the video. The first way how it turns on, however, is the easiest and most obvious way, is the scheduled time in the settings. So open up settings and do not disturb is actually right there. It's not hidden anywhere in the settings, so just tap on it. And the scheduled has to be turned off. Or you can adjust the timing so it suits you. There are a couple of options. You can dim the lock screen as well. But yeah, just keep that turned off if you never want to see Do Not Disturb again. Uh, let me interrupt the video right here to tell you that if you are new to Apple, or to my channel, make sure to check out some other videos and also subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And I got you covered on like the latest iPhones, iOS updates and stuff I think you would be interested in. So make sure you subscribe and let's continue with the video. The next possible reason why it keeps turning on for you is because the do not disturb mode while driving is enabled. And uh, there are, again, a couple of ways how this can work. And you can also customize it in the settings. So you can turn it to automatic, which means that every time you move and you sit in a car, it uh, the iPhone actually detects that you're moving in a pace of a car. And uh, that's why you should be driving. In this case, it can be very annoying because you can just sit in a car without moving and the iPhone will think that you're driving even though you are not in reality. But when this happens, you can click just I'm not the driving button and it will just turn off. Also, you can choose when connected to car Bluetooth, like most cars apparently do have that. And when you are paired, uh, this is like a signal for your iPhone to turn uh, the do not disturb mode on or manually so you just click every time you sit or get in the car that's kind of annoying but yeah if you want to keep it off then just keep it on manual and it will just never turn on by itself or some cars even have the option for carplay and a carplay support and if you have a car with that you can just toggle this on and every time your iphone actually uses carplay in a car then uh, the do not disturb mode will be activated automatically. You can find out more about it by clicking on the, the learn more button. If you really want to get the most out of this feature, what you can do is to download the Apple Shortcuts app, which they introduced with the iOS 13. And with this, there are plenty of options. The uh, do not disturb mode has been implemented into the Shortcuts app, which means that you can combine it with anything you would ever want. So let me show you something. It's actually kind of funny. So let me just get there. This is my shortcut and you can choose it. For example, that if you tap on the shortcut, if you activate like um like a couple of commands put together into a shortcut, that's how it works. And you can choose it. For example, that if you click on it, the do not disturb mode will be turned off and your music is going to be paused at the same time or anything else. Why would you do this? I have no idea, but just know that this option is there. Just play around with this and find what works for you. And there are plenty of other things to combine it with. So I'm pretty sure if you really want to take use of this to the max, then you just really need the shortcuts app on your iPhone. Another tip I would have for you is to simply add some favorites. I of course mean some favorite contacts. So when you have the do not disturb mode turn on, it means that, or depending on how you have it set up, that it will only accept calls from your favorite contacts or from all of them. So 
It really depends on how you set it up, but make sure to add some contacts to your favorite list. It's really going to help and you can select all of the people you want to receive the phone calls from. So that's kind of neat or like there are some other options, for example, all contacts. If you click on that, it means that you will only block phone calls from people that you do not know pretty much. Another tip I would have for you is to modify the auto reply message that you have. By default, it says something like I'm driving with the do not disturb mode turned on and I'll see your message when I get to my destination. And I would mostly recommend to change that because it sounds kind of generic. And I mean, yeah, it's like it really sounds like automatic reply. So I would just put my own text into this. It's very easy. Just remove this and type in whatever you want and also choose which people actually receive the message. So again, your favorites, all contacts or recents or even no one. So yeah, just keep that in mind that there are plenty of things to play with, especially with the shortcuts app. And now we are coming to the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, I want you to support this video with thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the video jump up in YouTube algorithms so more people can actually see it. I want to say thanks a lot for watching and for your support. If you are new, of course, subscribe. This was kind of basic, but I also make more advanced videos so you can find anything you would want when it comes to Apple on my channel. So stay safe and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out.